Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Lars and this is episode 119 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap up this, um, not this episode, not this campaign by, by no means, but uh, the uranium power that we've been spending in the last couple of episodes on. So I want to take a look at the first one. This one is generating the concentrated um, pressure tank, the pressure tanks with concentrated nitric acid. So what I've done is actually now I've been limiting it. I put a display up here and you have 49,000. It's slowly decreasing. I've set this one as only producing. I set up these small things all around the place. It basically says I will only produce here. This will only be enabled when this drops below 20,000. Right, because there's no reason to have 50,000 stored up. But it is decreasing quite rapidly. Now I can see that. Now let's go over to the other location. You may have forgotten all of these uh, details, but that's okay. The key point here to identify is actually the fact that this one is slowly accruing. These are the MOX pellets. Uh, I've also been studying a bit in the meantime. I did not expect that, but the MOX is mi mixed oxide. Uh, mixed oxide and that means it contains both uranium oxide and plutonium oxide maybe also some other things like neptunium and other weird stuff uh, anyway this is produced into these tanks these are the primary ones and they'll be further refined and then be pushed into the other tanks and you can see these are now very low and that's quite good because they were actually in the tens of thousands and now they're down to more of a steady state that means i have been spending the last couple of uh, i don't know half hour or so because i've actually cleaned out a lot of aliens down here they were getting in the way um or just i mean i just wanted to while this was uh, so settling into a steady state now you can see here they are basically running dry this one up here this is uh, not fully active anymore this is the one that we um recycles the nitric acid and that's the last step because this generates this junk which comes over here and you still have 26,000 so all of the stuff that I do it goes through this cycle it comes from these two gets into that one and get into these really what is it actually called liquid radioactive waste and here I'm just as fast as I possibly can trying to transform it into vitrified waste which is just the end state nothing much I can do 1,000 of that Anyway, that was sort of a, a recoup of where we are. If we look at this pole over to the right, we have 12 MOX pellets. And the objective for today is actually to... Okay, this is our stone generation. This is happy as a pie. I like this one. I very much do. This one could be better. And then we'll continue through an empty square. We don't know what the purpose of that is going to be. But then we go over to this one. This will be our uranium. I have made a nice little thing here where it should be quite efficient. And now my objective is I have to figure out how to build mine. Um, build uranium. That's going to be a bit tough. I need a few of these just for the hell of it. And so we're going to build uranium. I will have... I need one fission generator for sure. And then I start shoving things in there to be uh, to cover it. Let's make a lot of pipes. I think I'm going to need a lot of pipes in this. That's 200 pipes. Doesn't seem like much. How many pipes do we need? Yeah, we need some. And iron. And stone. And bricks. No? Oh yeah, well obviously I'm going to need power. So what I'm doing now is just create the raw materials. I don't know if we can call raw materials, but I want one. And we clear out this. And then we get a fission generator. I'm going to try to build a nuclear power plant this time. And it's going to be tough because it, I just have my experience to go on. Instead of just re redoing it from scratch, I want to... Well, I am going to redo it from, from scratch. But I want to see if I can remember how to do it. And then we need one of these. Two of these steam generators. I'm going to need two of those. Let's put some stuff in here. I'm going to start some other things in the meantime. You will be taking one of these. And it's important to remember to take these out afterwards. This one I can let run one more time. 
And how much? Okay, that's still very slow. I'm going to take one more. That is the cooling tower to the left. Then I'm going to have a cooling tower to the other side. Can I also put this in? Yes, I can. How about you? You almost hit one of them. And then I'm going to take the other one. I just need some cyclotrons. Once the next one starts, I can remove all the remaining materials. There we go. So that doesn't accidentally create more. Then I will need these cyclotrons. I don't know if that's actually called cyclotrons, but I think they should be. It's a cool name and I want to use it for something. There we go. I also need two of these. They're pretty fast. They only take 30 seconds to build. What about this one? Ah, 120 seconds. One, 60 seconds. So this one's going to take a while. I mean, we have the answer to that. We just do that. Peace, peace. And then we take this out because I don't want more of those. Here, got two of those. Let's see, is there anything else I want to build or need to build? No, I don't actually think so. I think that's what I need. Uh, a couple of fast pumps, but I can handcraft those. Yep, you, you, yes, you, almost. Got it, great. Now it's a matter for me to see if I can figure out how the hell I'm gonna do this. And I cannot for the life of me remember. Now, one of the annoying thing is that I will not be able to use my train network to send over the mox pellets. And therefore I need to collect them myself. I have not figured out a way, but I think I actually need to belt them over. That's less concerning at this moment. I'm going to take the moxes in my inventory just now so we can get started. There. They'll be put in here just for the hell of it. Uh, please stop doing those kind of things. There. Okay, so they're now in this location. Get out of the car. I'm going... Oops, it's the wrong one. Sorry. This is the one. Mox pellets. Great. I'm going to start with a reactor to see how this is. Place access reactor port next to fission reactor. Yes, please. That's that one. I'm going to put it there. Reactor access port linked. Good. Now, I can't. This is so annoying because I. No? I believe it's, it is supposed to be here, right? There we go. That one. Yep, let's uh, get one of these mox pellets in. Got it. And of course there's no power, but I'm going to drag the power down here for sure. Hmm. Wow, I thought that would... Oh yeah, that's true. It's not like this. Um, how about this location? Ah, that's in the way. Whatever. I just want to make sure that this is somewhere near the air. And then I need a cooling tower. Goes attached there. But I can't for the life of me remember how this whole thing was supposed to start. And this is pretty stupid actually, because I don't know how to do this. I'm going to need some water. Yes. Where do we need the water coming in? Where's the water comes in? It comes in there. Let's start by making some offshore pumps. That's the whole reason why we are over here. Good. That's offshore pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen might be overdoing it. I mean, I'm just not quite sure, but one, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly what I want. I want six on each side. And then I need a pump. We, they have a special pump here. That's a fast pump. I'm going to build a few of those. That pumps into here. Good. That also needs some power, obviously.
there. I'm going to put the other somewhere here, whatever. All right, so this one will be able to pump. Let's let's see if I can remember how the hell this is going to be. And I'm going to need something pushed in for sure. That's lots of uh, excessive clicking. Where the hell is it I'm uh, going to put it in? I need the water coming in. Is it going into this location? I don't know. We'll try it. We're just gonna experiment this this way. Okay, something is going in. There's a tiny bit of water. Oh yeah, there's a pressurizer. That's, I remember, I need pressurizer. That one. Let's try and put it here. See if that's the one that needs to go. Oops. Power? Does it do anything? Oh yeah, you make pressurized water. Maybe I need to remove these things first. Try one more time. Does it work? Yes, it is getting pressurized watering. Awesome. Something is working. That one. And I will put in my single mox pellet in here. Go. And there's something about this one. I can't remember how much it needs to fill up to, but it needs to fill up to a lot. Uh, it's The temperature is fine. It's 350 degrees. That's the first challenge. That is getting it up to sufficient the high temperature. And that takes a bit of time. So let's wait for this one to get up. I can't recall. I think that the total amount in the whole network should be around a bit less than 3,000 between the three items that are running. Because once it's filled, then I can put in the next thing, which is this one. I don't know if it's safe to put it in now. Is it increasing? Yes, it is. It is increasing. And the temperature is, yeah, well, it's decreasing. Why is the temperature decreasing? There's nothing in here. Temperature is just gradually decreasing as the. Maybe that's because, I don't know if it's actually heating it up. Hot lake is the water carrying heat from the reactor core. Yeah, so it goes, water goes in, highly pressurized water. It consumes a lot of water it produces it heats up is this one being used yes it is 96 percent. so it is actually using my mox pellet i don't know how much power is in the mox pellet it doesn't say that is a bit of shame i'd like to know if it how much is it better or worse than some of the other ones and let's check the hot the hot leg is not particularly hot anymore We need to push it up to 900 or what is it supposed to go to? Let's see. Just keeps decreasing. I don't like that. I really don't like that it's decreasing. These ones are working. This one. Hmm. That sounds like we probably could. I wonder if you can shove things in there. Just see if I can... Does that work? Oh yeah, it does. That makes it fill up twice as fast and the temperature then decreases. I think it's something about 900. Maybe I shouldn't put it in there until the, I have all the ones I need. Hmm, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I have no idea. What if we turn this off? Let's see if the temperature decreases or not. No, it doesn't. It has no impact on the temperature. That's probably because I need to, that's just the temperature it has. And then I need to put it back into the engine. That's what this one does. There. You are not powered. All right. You are shoving it back in and that makes it hotter. 
Yes. Hot. Yes. Okay. But I don't think I have enough water in here. But at least it's getting warmer. This one doesn't do anything. It is strange how... Okay, now the temperature is fine. This one is also pretty good. This one is also pretty good. Yes, awesome. But it's not enough to work. I mean, I put 600 in here. I put more in here. I'm going to take this one. You're going to put more water in. I don't know how much water. We will try hooking up the next, next part of this. And I know that there's something here. That little vent thingy. This one is not doing anything. But that's because it needs the water supply coming in. There's a trick to it. I know that. Okay, let's try it and I mean, I know that is it like this. Yes, that is hooked up. And then I just need to hook up the water just so it fills up. This one is filling up. That's generating superheated steam. That's cool. I will just flip this for a while just to, I don't know if it works. It's, it's building up 3k steam. That's very nice. Is it keeping? Is it keeping stable? I have no idea. Why would it be? And I need to detach this one as well. And then there's something about... I need to make sure that there's just a tiny room for it to fluctuate in here. Yes, there we go. It's not allowed to be completely full. Is this one... I think this one also is hooked up. Is it? Yes, it is. But where is it hooked up to? It is hooked up to... The water supply, maybe? Like that. This one goes up to 200. I think this one needs a constant water supply. It's cooling. It's not performing at all. But why is it not performing? I mean, you're producing superheated steam. And it's at the right temperature. Why is it then not working? Something is missing, right? Does this one need to be hooked up to something? No, that's not uh, even attached. That one is hooked up. This one has the cold lake has water. 15 degrees. Hmm. Maybe it's the fact that it doesn't have enough. But I do like the fact that it has 3,000 uh, 3, superheated steam. It should go into this one. Now start spinning, damn it. Ah, uh, cooling turbo. This is the one that actually generates the power. But it doesn't get anything. Is it placed correctly? Let me just check if it can actually be placed incorrectly. This is where I imagine it should... This is... Ah, I didn't place it correctly. I did not know that it was possible to place it incorrectly. Alright, we'll try this one. Alright, it is available performance. But it's not performing anything. Why is it not doing it? Ah, stupid solar panels. God damn it, I want to see this working. Maybe I should exclude this from the normal network. Like this. Um, is it working? It is working. Ah, but it's venting my the steam. I don't like that. That's not how it's supposed to go. What is this one doing? Let's look at this little power system. It's producing almost nothing just to keep this running. I don't know what I should produce. I don't know what the... But that one I don't like. Because that means it gradually loses steam. Oh, what about you? Are you full? Cool? I have no idea how much it should be. There's 600 there. There's 650. And that's 500. So that's about 1200. That's about... This one... This one is not full. This one is half full. I don't know if this is an, sort of an indication, but it's not so much that it loses. I don't know. I really just don't know. Let's hook it up to the rest of the network and just hope that it works. 
I'm going to try adding in the other one. That one can stand there. All right, let's try that. I will need here. And in case I need to pressurize something, I can do this one. I'll just flip it. It doesn't work. All right. You have 3K. You have 600. Oh, I can't even use that for... Well, I think I can put it in and then... Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll find out. Let's try it. it uh, like that. No. There we go. Now this one starts stealing some of the water. This one doesn't have any water. This one... Oh, no. Fill it up with water, please. Just keep filling it up. I want to make sure that we have 1.2k here. And there's nothing in this one. But this is nice and hot. Great. Now the next part is hooking up the, this part. And it's not powered. I am keenly aware of that. I will hook up this one. Hook up this. This one needs to be filled up. That's the cooling water. Cooling tower water source. I hope this is the part that gets vented. Then I don't mind so much. And this one gets in here. Until... This is 1.2. Ah, right. Okay. So I actually need to fill this one up. Until this hits 3k. Why is it not increasing? Why is this not increasing? Hmm. This is kind of empty. Oh, this is venting quite a lot. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, something is spinning. It's spinning, spinning. This one is not. Oh, it's losing power. Oh no. What's going wrong? What about this one? Whoops. Good. That was not clever for me. of me. Don't do that. Don't right click on this one. <clears throat> what do we have? Here we have almost nothing. I don't know why there's so little in this one. But that's I guess so I suppose I need this recycling thingy. But I think I have enough here. Then I disconnect this and set up the that one thingy. I don't like this blinking thingy. The blinking, yeah it's blinking because it doesn't have enough. Or what is it it doesn't have enough of? I don't know. Now the whole damn thing is blinking. Fuck me. Go away. What do you have? You have 1.1k. That's not working. And why are you dead? Let's see. Oh, this is... I cannot imagine how anyone ever invented nuclear power. Because this is just... Absurd. You're... Pushing this in as something I, I believe that you actually have to disconnect it. Okay, this doesn't have any water, so the network doesn't have water. And what does that mean? I think I need to fill in. It used all the water here. It's now getting the water it needs. But it's it all the steam just disappears. How much is this one on? 82 already. Okay, finally this one is catching up. So this one has to peak out at 3000. For sure. This one is good. This one just keeps pumping in. I don't know how much I need in this deposit here. A lot, I would suppose. You can't put beacons in this one either. This is good. This is now at the 3000 it needs to be. Good. Excellent. This one is slowly increasing. But that one is increasing a lot. That's because this is a network. This runs around here. Keeps those 3000 superheated. Available performance. Nothing. It's not using anything. I'll disconnect this one. And I'll actually just disconnect as well. Like this.
probably gonna use it again, but this looks good. This looks good. I'll see if I can hook up the other one. I don't know how much I should have in here. Or how much I should have in here. I feel that I don't have enough yet. Though I have no indication. 3000 superheated steam. I don't know how I get that. I suppose I'm gonna need this one. You're gonna fill in. So at some point, you're full of lukewarm steam not even too hot this is 300 degrees maybe it's just not possible to feed two of these from the mox i don't know 76 well it's it's burning it's producing not much but it is working all right i'm going to try one more time disconnecting it disconnecting this one is it still running? Yes. What does this one look like? Yep. That's looking good. So when I put this cyclotron thingy on, I'm calling it reactor recirculation pump. Yes. Yes. Come on. Let it work. That one is not being touched at all. And we're up to 3000. Awesome. Then I disconnect the water. Yes. Then I disconnect this. And I reconnect it so that there is some room in this network for the water to condense. And I think we have it running. We have a new nuclear power plant running. Boom. Let's get all of this mox in here. I will then make one more adjustment. That's awesome. And this one will filter the spent mox fuels. I have no idea if I can also take the spent mox fuels. Uh, I can. I can actually uh, reprocess those as well. But that's going to be a different matter. This is spinning. Let's have a look at our... That's a city production. Come on, get... I'd like to go into the night so I can see these actually working. But anyway, it's uh, quite relieving to see that it's working. Let's put some lights on it. It's a beautiful creation we've, we've done now. I'm going to be sure to check back a bit later just to make sure that when nightfall comes that it, this is actually producing. But I'm going to leave this plant here. We are now for for the purposes of this playthrough, I would say we're done with all the power production. These are producing 46 or 43 megawatts each. I have four of those and they're not going to run out of, of fuel. We have set everything up. The solar panels, well, that's just... Uh, for the fun of it. This is blinking a bit. Really, this base is really not using a lot of power, but that's because everything is is um it's it's just stuck, you can say. Your your um how do how do I want to say this? The base is in a waiting position, so it only produces when I need something. Everything else gets produced to stock, and there's no draw on the base in terms of power, for example, uh, uh, in terms of research or in terms of power, not th that stands still. So everything you see, nothing is really working. No logistic train network. So the base is grinding to a halt. Let's look at actually the production statistics. This is just minuscule amounts. You can see all of these, they're completely relevant. I mean, I'm producing some water, some barrels. I'm producing so many barrels. That's a bit strange, right? All of these things, they are just minute details. I'm just waiting for this brightness to go down. Look at the, they're spinning. Awesome. This is the where I wanted to end. I want to see that we have four, four nuclear power plants running, two running on 4.7 uh, uranium enriched uh, pellets, and the these two are running on mixed oxide pellets. Awesome. So thank you very much for joining, and hope this uh, was instructive on how to set up a nuclear power plant. It actually worked. Uh, and we'll be diving into the next part, which will be the hydrocene working towards the rocket fuels. So thank you very much for joining. See you next time. Bye.